Let's go ahead and talk about Chainsaw Man chapter 105 because interestingly enough, moments after the last chapter where Denji revealed to Asa that he is in fact Chainsaw Man, Asa ended up telling Yoru, no way that idiot who is a Chainsaw Man fan who's wearing a Chainsaw Man shirt is in fact Chainsaw Man. Now, I know it's done for comedic purposes, but it was established in the International Assassin's arc where Subaru, the devil hunter, told everyone, devils have keen noses, devils can smell out other devils, and you would think with Chainsaw Man being the hero of hell, people would be able to decipher and distinguish what Chainsaw Man smells like, especially Yoru who fought with Chainsaw Man in the past, Yoru who is the war devil. Unless Yoru is trying to pull some type of a ruse here on why she didn't tell Asa right then and there, like I know what Chainsaw Man smells like, devils can smell out other devils. So unless this is a retcon here, I'm curious to see what you guys feel about that. But after that conversation, the war devil tells Asa that they have to attend the Devil Hunter Club with Asa refusing saying no I need to visit Yoku who got injured from the events of the Bat Devil a couple of chapters back and I absolutely love the slow build up tension that Fujimoto gave us here because this is where Yoku now tells Asa we're best friends best friends gotta tell each other secrets and Asa slowly reveals how a long time ago she peed her pants and to this day is still a little awkward a little embarrassing and then Yoku's like yeah you want to hear one of my deepest darkest secrets and she's like, yeah, sure. And she's like, I killed someone because they were gambling away their welfare money. Isn't that so funny? And Asa says, I really don't like quiet moments because they make me feel very uncomfortable. And after Asa went with the joke, or so we thought was a joke, she lets that awkwardness sit for a couple minutes and she's like, oh, wait, you're kidding, right? And she's like, no, you want to see the dead body? And then this is where we get the crazy reveal where Yoku's like, I appreciate you telling me your secret about peeing yourself and guess what i'm never gonna tell anyone that secret i'm not gonna tell anyone that you killed your teacher that you murdered one of your fellow classmates and that you have a contract with yoru the war devil and she's like whoa 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 where is this coming from with yoku revealing that she made a contract with who the justice devil that we saw the war devil beat in the opening chapters of chainsaw man part two it's interesting that we get some of the reveals of of the justice devil's abilities they can read the minds of other people which is really great for someone like yoku because she can't read people in general hell a lot of people have a hard time reading other people but i wonder how much control the justice devil has into yoko as opposed to what yoko wants to do for the sense of justice yoko has a strong sense of justice as revealed in this chapter but how much of that is warped perception according to the justice devil himself and if yoko knows the past of asa and Yoru, then obviously the Justice Devil, I'm surprised, is confident enough to even reveal outright to the War Devil that just killed the Justice Devil that, hey, it's good to see you again. So are we going to get that confrontation again? I think so. And I think this is going to be the first moment where Fujimoto is really going to tug away at our hearts. I was thinking Yoku was going to survive and be, you know, a long lasting character for Asa to develop a relationship with where she would have to make the hard decision at some point to kill her best friend but it seems like Fujimoto has other plans in mind where no we're gonna speed up that plot line and conveniently this is the way where the war devil is going to get a devil to go into school because why Yoku has a contract with the justice devil and the justice devil immediately and Yoku as well is saying Asa don't go to school tomorrow because I'm probably gonna kill all those devils in your school and now that we know Denji attends that school there's no way in hell that Chainsaw Man is gonna let that fly. Is Chainsaw Man gonna a fight the justice devil is the war devil and chainsaw man gonna team up against the justice devil is the war devil just going to beat the justice devil let me know in the comments down below